Hi everybody, welcome back to Karen Puzzles. So today I'm going to be doing a puzzle challenge that I've been wanting to try for a while now. I'm going to do a thousand piece puzzle, 100 random pieces at a time. Today's video is sponsored by Blue Kazoo and their triangles puzzle, which is this beautiful gradient is the perfect type of puzzle to use for this challenge. I think it'll be really fun and I hope some of you try it at home because you don't need any extra equipment. All you need is a puzzle. So I'm also excited to show you Blue Kazoo's new Galaxy series as well as their new Mini Earth series. We have the Mini Earth, the Mini Sun, and the Mini Moon. These are each 250 pieces. I'll show you all of these puzzles in more detail at the end of the video and tell you how you can win some of them. But first, let's open up this beautiful, colorful puzzle and see how this challenge goes. <laughs> I think it'll be fun, but I don't really know what's gonna happen, so we're gonna find out together. So here's how the challenge works. It's pretty simple. All I'm going to do is divide up all of the pieces into 10 piles of 100 random puzzle pieces. As you saw, I just dumped these out of the box. I've been mixing them all up. So, you know, I'm not sorting by color. This is completely random. After that, I will grab one pile at a time, put in as many pieces as I can, and then, you know, grab the next one. For a puzzle like this, um, you know, as I've been saying throughout this entire channel, gradient puzzles are not difficult. So I think this will add an extra layer of difficulty and I think it'll be really fun. Since I obviously won't have the complete edge, you know, maybe until the very end of the puzzle, I decided to mark the outline of the puzzle on the table with tape, just so that I can kind of get everything in the right area since the different sections are not gonna be connecting for quite a while. All right, so I've got my first 100 pieces ready to go, and I have nine more piles of pieces all around the table. I was thinking about having a set amount of time in between when I grab the next section, but I really don't know how long it's going to take to do each section, so instead I'm just going to work until I don't think I can put anything else together and I'm gonna make a note of the time each time that I pull in the next 100 pieces. So it is currently at 10.31 when I'm getting started. So obviously the first thing that I will want to do is turn over all of the pieces so that I can see what it is that I'm working with. On this first round, I'm not really expecting to put in a lot of pieces, so I'm really just going to try to sort them to where on the board they're going to go. All right, so I have a, a circle of pieces. Uh, ooh, no, no, wait, those don't fit. Nope, that does not fit. I mean, I wanted to get at least like one piece put together, but <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I just don't know if I have any pieces that actually go next to each other. Oh, oh my gosh, 
gosh, I did it. Look, I got one. Oh, wait, is that one? Oh, I got another one. So it's only 1036. That was um, a little bit shorter than I had thought, but I really do think that in order to keep this moving along, I really do need to just grab another batch of pieces. So which one do I want? I'm just gonna start over here. Let's grab these. Yes, ooh, oh my gosh, it is so exciting every time I actually get some pieces together. Ooh, okay, I have my first set of three pieces. <laughs> All right, it is 1048 and as you can see, I have, you know, a couple handfuls of pieces together, but we're really not seeing much taking shape yet. So I think it is time to pull in the third section. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. I have a lot of pieces on the board already. So I guess we're just making another pile right here in the middle. So as I've been working on this, I've realized that I definitely have to adjust my puzzle strategy to do this challenge because usually when I would do a puzzle like this, you know, I would find a spot and I would be like, I need a piece that goes there. It has to be somewhere around here. I would find it and put it in. Actually, I do think I might see it. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> but when I'm doing it this way, I basically have to look at what I have and try to, you know, see what I can make with what I have because what I'm looking for probably is not out on the board yet. So I don't know, I feel like there's some kind of um, metaphor in there, some kind of very cheesy metaphor. I'll let you finish that thought on your own. <laughs> So it is 11.14 and I think it is time for group number four. I am hopeful that this time it'll really start taking shape a lot more because I'll be at almost half of the pieces on the board. You can see that I'm starting to get some much larger sections and the more sections that I have to work off of, the easier it'll be rather than just looking at all of these random pieces out on the board and like trying to find any two or three that go together. Something interesting is I've noticed that I'm really gravitating towards the yellow and green section, which in the Cloudberries gradient puzzle was the most difficult part. Whereas in this one, it seems like the purples are so dark that that's going to be the most difficult part. So I'm so excited to get a whole new batch of pieces to work with <laughs> and We'll see how this goes. So it is 11.47 and I'm definitely starting to make progress. Um, you can see I have a couple large, large-ish sections going. This is definitely much more challenging than I was expecting. Also because I'm trying, you know, I could just pretend like I can't put in any more pieces and grab the next section, but I really am trying to put in as much as I can before I move on. And this is a challenge. <laughs>
Oh man, it is 12.42, which means that I worked on that last batch for almost a full hour. And you can see it's starting to take shape. It's a little tricky because I just don't know like when to stop and move on to the next section, but I think it's time. Ooh, does that go? No, that doesn't go there. Okay, I think it's time. <laughs> so this will be over half of the pieces on the board and I can definitely tell that like the pink and the oranges and the like bluish purples, the colors are just so similar to each other that I'm sure some of these pieces go together. I just like, it, it's just really hard to put them together without having the full framework to fit them into. So I'm hopeful that with each new batch of pieces, it'll hopefully keep getting easier. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so it is 1.30, and this is definitely taking a little longer than I expected. But once I get the next batch of pieces on here, that'll be 700 pieces on the board, only 300 missing. So I think that I should be able to do get a lot of progress done. I don't know. I feel like a lot of this in the yellow section should be connecting, and it's just not connecting yet so hopefully i do see a lot of like greenish yellow pieces in here hopefully i can finally get this all connected and then also work a bit more on the purples and the reds which it's turning out the reds and the pinks are like the hardest part <laughs> Oh my gosh, it is 2.38. I really did not think this was going to take all day. I thought I would be finished right around now, but you can see that we're starting to get that like random organic pattern that I was hoping for. I probably could have done more with the pinks and the reds and again with the purples, but this is taking forever, I need to move on. So now it is time for the eighth pile of pieces, which means that only 200 will be left. As I kept working on all of these parts, I just kept reminding myself, like, there is a 70% chance that the piece you're looking for is already out there, and now there will be an 80% chance. So I really think that I can get a lot more done in this section. I mean, I hope so, because... <laughs> I, I'm already spending all day on this. Okay, moving on.
Okay, so it is 3.48 and I've definitely made a lot of progress. This is what the real heart of this challenge is, where you can see that we have basically the entire thing filled in, except for all of these random pieces here and there. That is, except for the red corner, because these colors are just so similar to each other that I think even once I have all of the pieces, it's still gonna be a struggle. So let's just move on to pile number nine. And I really think it's gonna start going a lot faster now. <laughs> I mean, I would hope so. There aren't that many pieces left. As I suspected, that did not take long at all. It is now 4.10, so that was what, like 20 minutes? So can we just take it in? This is what a jigsaw puzzle looks like with 100 completely random pieces missing. So I'm just going to finish it up and then I will have completed the 100 piece challenge. Oh my gosh, I did it! I mean, we took a bit of a roundabout way to get there, but I finished it! So it is currently 4.21. I've been working on this since 10.30 in the morning without any breaks, so I'm gonna go eat something. <laughs> but I had so much fun with this, and with all of my times, I think we'll get some good data. So I will be back tomorrow to tell you all about that. So, in between filming all of that yesterday and then on to today, I got a haircut. I don't know what witchcraft my hairdresser did to make it look like this, so this is the best my hair is ever going to look. Enjoy it. <laughs> Anyway, let's talk about the puzzle. So I definitely think that we all learned a few things doing this challenge. Number one, you can pretty much complete a puzzle. I mean, at least to the extent where every piece is connected, as long as you have like 80% of the pieces. We've also learned that if you do this challenge, it should definitely be on a very easy puzzle because even with a really simple puzzle like this, doing it a hundred pieces at a time, it made it so much more difficult. So if you try to do that with a puzzle that's already difficult, I think you would literally like pull your hair out. And I'm not gonna do that because I paid a lot of money for my hair to look like this. 
You'll also want to make sure that you're doing this challenge with a puzzle that has very unique piece shapes so that you're not putting pieces in the wrong spot. Since if you did that with this challenge, you would just be constantly like rearranging everything. So the blue kazoo puzzles work really well for this because all of the pieces are completely unique. There were maybe like two times with the really dark pieces where I had to move things around, but for the most part, like not at all. I definitely recommend taping off the perimeter like I did. It made it so much easier to kind of know where on the board everything needed to go. Or if you don't want to do that, you could always just pull out the entire edge first and put that together and then do the challenge just with the inside pieces. That would definitely make it a lot easier. So I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you had fun watching it. I think this is a great idea if you have a puzzle that is too easy for you or one that you've done a few times and you're just looking to mix it up a little. It can also be fun in like a competition setting where everybody gets to pull in the next batch of pieces at the same time. I don't know, just thinking out loud here. But anyway, let's take a look at some statistics. We love statistics here on Karen Puzzles. Looking at this chart, you can see exactly how the time was broken down between each section. And looking back on it now, that totally makes sense because at the beginning, there just weren't like pieces to put together. And then towards the middle, you know, I actually had enough pieces to assemble a puzzle. And then at the end, it was only like individual spots that were left. And so everything went in really quickly. So I want to say a huge thank you to Blue Kazoo for sponsoring this video. I will have the link to get this exact triangles puzzle uh, right down in the description. And now let me tell you about their new Galaxy series. These are brand new and there are three puzzles in the series, Nebula, Starfield, and Pillars. If we take a look at the full image, you can see that it will definitely be a challenge. So if you're into stars and astronomy and galaxies, and you're also into challenging jigsaw puzzles, these are perfect for you. And speaking of challenging jigsaw puzzles, the previous video that I did with Blue Kazoo is actually all about how to finish that challenging puzzle that you're stuck on. So if you get one of these and you need some tips, make sure that you watch that video. And then coming soon at the end of June are these new mini puzzles. So these are 250 pieces and they make a 20 inch circle. They have a mini earth, a mini sun, and a mini moon. As you saw in my last video with Blue Kazoo, their normal sized thousand piece moon puzzle is definitely a challenge. So if you don't think you're quite there yet, if you want something a little easier, these are perfect. So if you want to be the first to know when these are available, you can head over to the website and subscribe on the product page. And I hinted at the beginning of the video that you might get to win some puzzles. Well, over on Instagram, we are giving away all three of the new galaxy puzzles. So I'll have the link right down below if you want to enter to win these. So I would love to know in a comment, do you ever do challenges with your puzzles? Do you think you would want to attempt this challenge? If you try it, make sure that you let me know how it goes for you. So your code word for watching until the end of the video will be triangle. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one.